Hope everyone's having a very nice Saturday. I'm meteorologist Jack Griffin with your seven-day forecast video. We'll be talking about the chances for showers and storms Sunday morning, and that's pretty much going to be it in terms of the amount of rain that we're going to see throughout this week. Uh, we do have a chance for it later on during the end of the seven-day forecast, but really we're just talking about um, tomorrow morning. So on our future check, we're going to be watching this cold front moving through the uh, northern plains and central plains states over the course of the overnight hours. As it gets closer to us, it is going to weaken. So while there might be some severe weather to the west of us, when it moves through our area, we're actually not looking at really a whole lot in terms of rainfall. And once that front does pass, we're basically talking about cooler temperatures and less muggy conditions. So here are those temperatures that we are expecting to see. They're really going to be dropping over the course of this week before they slowly ramp back up as high pressure then settles back over the area. But the dew points are also going to take a hit as well. By the time we go through the first part of the morning on Sunday, it's going to go from very sticky in the morning to very comfortable by the evening. And then Monday, going into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you can see they continue to stay in the very comfortable range. And in terms of rainfall, this front is not going to be producing much rain at all. In fact, maybe about a quarter of an inch, and that's it. So we're expecting once this front to pass, things will be very nice and comfortable for the remainder of the forecast. Let's time out that front. We've got um, mainly cloudy skies for the rest of the evening and overnight hours on Saturday, but then when we go into Sunday morning, we'll have more cloud cover. Can't roll well the chance for an isolated shower storm this evening into the overnight hours, but our best chance, as you can see, will be during the morning and early afternoon tomorrow when that front moves through. But it does move through very quickly, so by the time we get into the afternoon, we'll have actually partly cloudy to mainly clear skies, and things will begin to clear out after that. So. Once we go through the rest of the morning, it's then another very quiet forecast for a lot of this week. So tonight we're expecting temperatures to drop down to around 64 degrees with mainly cloudy skies. Can't rule out the chance for an ice edge shower or storm. That's likely going to be a very light rainfall more than anything else. Then going into the day tomorrow, we'll have partly cloudy skies in the second part of the day, but during the first part of the day, cloudy skies, chances for showers and storms. Our winds will be breezy from the west northwest at around 10 to 20 miles per hour and that will be after the front passes. And here are those temperatures again, very comfortable for the seven day forecast. A little warm and muggy during the first part of the day on Sunday, then comfortable by the evening, then very comfortable for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. By the time we get to Thursday and Friday, our temperatures will be on their way back up and we might see an isolated shower or storm on Saturday. But it's another one of these very calm, very comfortable forecasts that we have to look forward to. And that's because of high pressure. If you do miss the actual warm summer like conditions, we are still expected to be um, above average in the long-term forecast, which would take us into the first couple days of September. So if you do miss the warm, muggy conditions, don't worry. They'll still be coming back here. And you can kind of tell that it's beginning to come back as early as Saturday. Uh, but uh, really just talking about a nice, comfortable forecast in the near term. If anything does need to be updated, I'll make sure to update it right away. But with the high pressure around here, that's going to be unlikely. So our next seven-day forecast video update will be from me at some point during the uh, early afternoon on Sunday. Hope everyone has a very nice rest of your day.